Good evening. I'm here with the ever controversial Madonna. Santa. For a rare glimpse inside the woman who has virtually redefined pop culture. Welcome to Jumping the Turnstile. I'm Jazzbot. I'm Timmy Taco. And I am Madonna Santa. Welcome. There you go. I heard your name mentioned in the intro there. Thank Welcome you so to much. the podcast. Thanks for coming in. No, no, thank you guys. It's fabulous to be here. Well, can I just hit this? Say hello, Madonna. <laughs> hello, Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> she did it. <laughs> yes, um, if you're a uh, first time listener to the podcast, this is uh, my brother, Timmy Taco, and I'm Jezbot. Yeah, this is my brother, Jezbot. <laughs> yes, and so every week we come in and do some, it's sort of like just uh, diary entries of our lives, I guess. Yeah, well, it's we're, we're kind of catching you up to date at the same time. Yeah. Because you're kind of in the audience. Uh, Seat, I guess. I know. You know it's going to be great. It's like looking mm. into the lounge room of the Jetsons, really. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it kind of is in here, isn't it? It, it? is. It is. It is. I'll, I'll try to make it as cosy as possible in here. It's fabulous. Got, you, did, got you some brandy. I, I needed the brandy for I, my mm. voice. couldn't believe you had brandy. Has brandy ever I been believe it said in this house at all? No, this is the first time I've heard the word brandy. Well, it was... Aged, let's just say that. <laughs> mm. <laughs> well, well, question. Aged, aged by the um, the special sticker that said five dollar discount, <laughs> <laughs> and that's kind of like our, our almost our first topic is like we sometimes uh, talk about kitchen treason. Mm. Fabulous. Uh, kitchen treason came about because my wife um, put the IKEA toothbrush cup back into the dishwasher, which ended up in the coffee cup. Section. It ended in, up in circulation. It ended up in, in my mouth. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> and no, Cass no. goes, why are you drinking from... That's disgusting. Why are you drinking from the cup? <laughs> yeah, from, from the, the toilet bright. cup. Oh. <laughs> Kitchen treason. Yeah, that's treason. Perfect. <clears throat> I love it. Uh, what was my treason? Did I have a treason I think you had there? knives up like, the wrong way in the no, dishwasher. Knives facing up ways in the dishwasher. If you trip over the dishwasher, you could uh, get slashed. Yeah, well, that's definitely kitchen treason. Mm. I have, I have got uh, which which finger is it on? One of my fingers. I uh, I was trying to put the rubber seal back on the outskirts of the dishwasher, <laughs> and I thought once I got it on, I got in that groove. I thought I'll just slide my finger along and oh. insert the rubber over the thing. But my finger slipped off and I ran my finger across this razor sharp metal. Ooh. It's like a paper cut from, from oh, hell. Oh man, it was like a paper cut with like 14 from stitches. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, no, kitchen no, treason. No. Kitchen treason. Definitely kitchen treason. <laughs> I think kitchen treason for women is when you use their cup. Oh, okay. okay. So I don't know if you guys know this, but women have a special cup. And I talk to my friends about this. Mm-hmm. And mm. you will know if you're married that your wife... Or your partner mm. has a special cup. She does, and only you know. Like she will know what it is, but she will give you a look. Mm-hmm. Yeah, here, here in my kitchen, that doesn't happen. But I know it happens at the kitchen at the office for her because there's a couple of women, yeah. and they are very like, "Who used my cup?" Possessive. Definitely. Yeah. yeah, definitely. It's like that. We had another segment as well. Who's been using my toothbrush? That's right. the kind of thing when you're living in close quarters. Close quarters. Yeah, with, definitely, definitely. Well, you know, rent with renters, and you come home that last bit of milk. You had is gone, and Gary didn't go and to the Seven no, Eleven and replace he, it. He put the empty back in the fridge. <laughs> oh, that is that is definitely a That's pet hate. Why do people do that? Like my daughter does that. She puts the empty orange juice. You know, it's still good. <laughs> I, and I just think, why don't you just throw it in the bin? Yeah, yeah, but definitely. bin or recycling bin? Who really knows these days? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. So um, with. Uh, with your kid, does, is she a leave the plate on the bench to wash or is she a wash it herself kind of gal? She's a leave it in the sink to okay. wash. But as long as she runs a little bit of water over it, mm. because don't you hate it when someone's eating something like, say, spaghetti bolognese or anything that gets, if it gets crusty. It gets sticky. It gets sticky yeah, and then you can't, can't wash yeah. it. Yeah. Nah. That's, so, it. yeah. So, That's kitchen treason. That is definitely kitchen <laughs> treason. Yeah. Absolutely. And I reckon you've got a handful of kitchen treasons right there. I do. You handed me surreptitiously before. So if everyone remembers those boxes in the 1970s, do you reckon? Yeah, 60s, 70s. 70s, 70s yeah, yeah. That look like, um, well, what are they? It's almost like Reader's Digest. You know, when you yeah. send away, they, they go, you know, send this yeah. voucher in and get, receive your recipes. This, this week you get your 30 hot desserts, meals without yeah. meat. Or money saving dishes. That's that's in July. Is that also that predated dishes. vegetarianism. Yeah, that's right. Meals that's, without meat. 
Spell if they put out. vegetarianism, they People wouldn't would have go, known what, what, is that? That? what is that. What is that? It's the seventies, man. We it's, don't know what that is. It's fabulous, and these actually have. Um, even flags of the countries that they come from. Although oh. you would have to be the flag master to know where they come from. I've been mm. called that. <laughs> you? They, the flag master, yeah. Do they have to hire a flag master to get the cards right? Yeah, I, you'd have to. I don't know where this now, comes Now, is it from. a flag master or is it a flag sergeant? Yeah. Or is it a, a flag butler? Luckily, uh, because I don't know where these... Fl- I mean, how many flags are there in the world? I don't know. And we were talking about this before. What is a flag? But it's Norwegian. <laughs> So this okay. is a Norwegian... From where I was sitting, that looked like a flag from the top of the um, Dukes of Hazard car. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It oh, does. No. Um, but this cake, this delicious, delectable dessert is called the Kranskasaki. Yeah, Krans- a- <laughs> Krans- no, Kransakaki. It's, it's a Kransakaki and it's a tr- traditional dis- dish for festive occasions. Oh, yeah. It yeah. uh, tastes a little bit khaki. It's Do you think cake, khaki is Norwegian for cake? It might be. So it's a Kransky cake. Kransky yeah, ca- okay. cake. Okay. So is it full of sausages? <laughs> <laughs> and flags coming out the side. Yeah, you gotta and, and look, have the flag. It might sound uh, uh, delicious, but the way the way this bloody Kransky is uh, shaped, it's oh, it's layer upon layer. It's a pyramid scheme, basically. It is a pyramid scheme. It goes all the way to the top, doesn't it? Yeah, it starts very you fat almost at the bottom. Wanna, I almost want to see a bride and groom on the top of that. <laughs> Don't you reckon? Absolutely. It reminds me top. of the crock and bush. Oh, a little yes. bit. Like, it reminds yeah. me of more... It's that's like it looks like what are those biscuits that you get at Christmas time? Ah, uh, short oh. short bread, a short yeah. bread crock and bush cake. Ugh. Yeah, that's oh. cool. Actually, now I wish when, it was full now of with cherries. <laughs> <laughs> when you put it that way, yeah. this one's called a fast like a fast legs buller. Huh? A fast legs buller from a for Shrove Tuesday. Oh. It's a sh- Swedish Shrove Tuesday. Buns. So is, when, that, um, is that a uh, predominantly pancake based? You know what, what it looks like? You know those um, pork buns that you get? Ooh, it yeah, looks like pork yeah, buns, but yeah. with custard on the inside. Oh, custard. Okay. You kind of ruined it. <laughs> well, that's what they look like. It's not yeah. my fault. No. <laughs> balls. Yeah, it gets <laughs> now, you're saying it's a, that thing. You're saying oh. it's a St. Pat's, like Shrove Tuesday, isn't it? That's uh, when St. Patrick drove all the snake people out of the uh, Whacking, Sir, St. Whacking's Day. Yeah. So, yeah. so was it the snakes, like actual reptiles, or was it, or was or was it, it the lizard, English? It lizard people. Yeah, the English. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We'll and get those dirty snakes out of here. Brush your teeth. Yeah. I would love to hear you pronounce that. Oh, okay. Oh, God, in I'm your, so in bad your, at it. are we going full broadcast here? Oh no, that's. I will put, yeah. I, do I put you, music underneath you to, to please help? Yeah. I'll say it's a gif you gif you elity. No, gif you very day you. You're talking about my wife. Gif you elity. Gif you elity. Wish. No, there's more. There's more. Wine. Wine. Yacht signans. Say it's properly. Uh Gefoolity, <laughs> where Heinen's dungeon starts in So, it's yeah, yeah. so much better. Like. Or, or in English, roast turkey. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Roast turkey. Roast I think turkey. it is. Stu- oh, it? no, sorry. It's a stuffed goose. He's, he looks stuffed. He does. Do he you does. think that's what the words mean? Yeah, We're I think so. so stuff it, the gooseton. Yeah, hmm. stuff, what stuffy, stuffy, stuffy goose in. <laughs> stuffy goose in house. Um, ingredient one. Get yourself some sturdy gloves. <laughs> <laughs> There's going to be a lot of packing going on here. It's a big turkey. That is a big boy. Or it big is. girl. I don't know. Oh, is that, so is that festive or is that... Because uh, that to us looks like a festive meal. Uh, you, traditionally, you'll have turkey at what? Uh, Christmas. It's uh, Yeah, Christmas. Yeah, fest- festive occasions, Tim. <laughs> this, is, this is card seven. Okay. Isn't okay. it amazing how things have changed over uh, there? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, you I mean, like with these things, where's the, uh, oh, oh, sorry, with these things, where's the bloody uh, the four hundred one and then the seven hundred nine ingredients? Oh, the artificial you know, flavors, these, these yeah. the coloring, like real ingredients. That I love it when you get a recipe right, and they go just with the, some things you have in the cupboard. 
Yeah, you know? oh, yeah. And then it's like yeah. saffron. <laughs> and, you know, yeah. and stuck a lot. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and if you can't find stuck a lot, use Fibro stuck a lot. And you think, now I, I need to find a specialty store to mm-hmm. find every yeah. one of these yeah. ingredients. And that's that's the thing with where I live. We've got the supermarket, but it's our Coles just doesn't have a deli. So we've been deli less. Oh, and that's I, I like I like sacrilegious. Deli. I like the deli. Mm. I like looking at it. I like seeing it. I like walking past it. I occasionally <laughs> like shopping at it. <laughs> I, I I don't really like going into the Coles New World order. Order. <laughs> do, do you remember it was called Coles New World? Yes. Yeah, and they just dropped it in the eighties. Coles so Brave yeah. New World. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shop um, here. You can't. Interestingly enough, like living in Queensland, the land of the queens, mm. and mm-hmm. there is not. We're really spoilt here, like in in Melbourne, for choice when it comes to different types of foods. Yeah. But go to the land of the queens, and you're not going to get any type of other product. What are we go- well, What are we you, What are we getting out there? Like, um, oh, you get the melons. You, you get uh, what? Predominantly seafood, or is that not even that? Do we not even go there? Well, up in Queen, yeah. yeah. So you do get a lot of seafood, but if you want something that's either Greek or Italian or any type mm. of salami product or yeah. anything like that, a prosciutto, a prosciutto, <laughs> or, um, capocollo, yeah, or anything, yeah, yeah. charcuterie board. So, but yeah, yeah, <laughs> oh, that's Spanish. Yeah. But anything like that, and it's mm. almost impossible to find. You'd have to import it in from Brisbane, or make it yourself. Or well, or make well, you it can't yourself. get the saffron. You can't yeah. get all the key ingredients. No. And is, is Mama? Up in Queensland, or is she here? No, she's she's back. Okay, because I was gonna say you need your you need your mama to cook the ingredients. Yeah, make it she struggled. She really str- she was like, ah, oh, this would be you know if, if we were there, if we could. It's yeah. really difficult. And ah, be- fangul. <laughs> Pretty. <laughs> <laughs> this <is> pasta fangul. <laughs> it's a fugazi. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it was almost like that because you can't even get in the pasta section. Actually, and then there's pasta which is it all. Just seems. It's weird because I, you got all the farming, you got all the fruits, all the cattle. You've got. You it's like that it's, it's ready to go, and you got the tourism up but there. But you haven't you got the um, you haven't got the Greeks, the Greek market. No, or the Italians, or, the Italian or even. Market. Well, you think about it here. Think about some of the sub- suburbs we have here, which is now you got you know big Indian, you go mm. Arab, you've mm. got you yeah. know Lebanese. So all of those um, Afghani, you know, butchers yep. and stores and everything that you can get all that that produce and yeah, stuff, goat. you can't get it. Halal. Halal. But even <laughs> halal to, <over> there. <laughs> even to say like um, owning having a, a dog here, you can get bones for your dog for like three dollars for you know a big yeah, bag. Yeah. Nice. I've just seen the uh, the ads that's running on my YouTube feed, oh, yeah. which we'll get into in a minute. Whether yeah, right. everybody's listening all the time. Mm-hmm. They're listening right now. Hey, Siri. <laughs> yeah, pretty much that deal. Oh, oh it started. Then. Oh, you know, yeah, I turned that on for a joke. Oh, they, they're um, doing Xanax for cats and dogs oh. living together. It's oh, like yeah, of course. Yeah. They yeah. Need it. Can, like, we, can we take, have, have a crack at... Can we have the dog Xanax? Is that we talking about the same Xanax here? Or is it uh, they didn't really call big? it Xanax, but they, they sort of advertise it like, oh, is your dog or cat uh, get really so? stressed mm-hmm. out around travel and... Uh, uh, give him pop him twelve of these. Yeah, is your dog uh, is your dog walking around happy? <laughs> Sounds like it needs to go on drugs. Is that on? Are they actually advertising? Well, this? for YouTube, in between so all the it. all the yeah the, ads, the, 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 the ads they throw in between, which you can't really track. You know what I mean? So if you if you went off the video and went back to it, it'd be a different ad. You can't find. Oh, the you can ad never ones. find the ad. Where's the ads coming from? Well, it's coming from listening to me. So the last, oh, okay. last, so last his dog, dog. Walk, walkies. So what's then. happened last night? We, um, our, my brother-in-law just got back from Chile with his new girlfriend of a year, and he's gone over to meet the meet the family, and he's he's loved it. And, and so I was asking Cass, like, what's uh, how did Timmy go? Because he's Tim as well. That's yeah. a Tim. My <coughs> father-in-law's Tim, and my wow. brother-in-law's Tim. So, so at yeah. every family function, you call out Tim. Tim, Tim people turn around. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, and we said, well, we should probably learn some. Learn some Spanish or something yeah. like yeah. that. That'd be really cool, wouldn't it? The yeah. next video that came up on the feed was this bloke that goes around the world. He's like a linguist genius, and he kept sixteen weeks or six weeks to a month. He he knows he can just learn the language. I'm talking about lost uh, yeah. Indian tribes in the deserts of Mes- wow. Mexico. He'll learn Chinese. He'll yep. learn whatever. Yep. 
Um, and it just goes into his brain. Yep. The next ad's like for Babel. Yeah, uh, right. You know, and it just keeps feeding me his ads, and then they're all Babel ads, and it's like I didn't type in go to learn Spanish. It no, was, no, no, but it wants you. It's... It's really yeah. frustrating. It's gone for you. And they're absolutely listening to us. Yeah. So <clears throat> a couple of years ago, I think it was in 2020, I did a live about um, data capitalism. Okay. And so there's Professor, I think her name, and I hope I'm getting it correct because I don't like getting people's names oh, we'll incorrect. Just say but fucked. but <laughs> yeah. her name's Professor Jabova, I think her name is. And she wrote, she coined the phrase and she wrote a book on it. And she's in. I mean, I want to be her when I grow up. She's amazing. It will be. <laughs> She's phenomenal. And so she coined that phrase, data capitalism, and she mm. talks about how um, Google and so the currency now is not money, mm. it's not energy, it's not resources, it is data. Mm. And so Absolutely. everything that we do, we're being listened to. Even um, it's an amazing, amazing, amazing uh interview that she did mm. that the whole world should be watching because what she did was show how every time we post a picture onto Facebook or social media, they are actually using that to train AI to sell us products all the yeah, time. So they, they can say, oh, look, he's got a Mac. He's got a... He's, yeah, got, a, he's got a moustache. But even, <laughs> even to the point where they could predict... Um, a country's feeling by what they post online. So mm -hmm. they could predict that she was talking, this was, I'm paraphrasing her, but she sure. was saying um, in New Zealand at a certain time, they could predict by what all these young women were writing on Facebook between the ages of 13 to 15, they were feeling really sad. And so they got all of these ads to buy particular clothes. Yeah. And that's why they're selling our data. Um, even to the point where smart cars, mm. she was saying, are listening. It's all about, you know, listening to what you're saying all Definitely. the time. So it's really... And it, where you travel to, how long you stay there, who you interact with. Yeah. And so that's why um, my daughter was saying that the type of ads she's receiving, because they'll even be able to tell from what you're saying to people, whether you're pregnant, premenstrual, if you're a woman. Yeah. Well, and so you'll get ads for those particular things, baby products. So Vanessa was getting like... Um Messages for uh, erection uh, malfunction and okay. um, superannuation and over eighties retirement villages. Okay, they thought she was a eighty-five year old male, okay. impotent male. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> impotent. <laughs> well, aren't they all? <laughs> um, wow. But uh, she doesn't know how to break that either. Like every once in a while, I'll just say, you know, are you about to die? Do you want your funeral? Some insurance this time. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> to uh, be good this time. <laughs> Remember the last one. Uh, yeah, so listening to us hard. I, I haven't had anything pop up recently. I, I went I went into my phone and did all the off, off this, off, off that. Mm. And I haven't had much. But I don't, I don't, I must say, I don't go on there. I'm not a peruser of other people's posts. I just occasionally make a post myself. Forget about the whole thing. But what about when you're speaking, it doesn't listen to, like if you say something to do with music, for example, if you would say oh, a certain I do keyboard. Get, I do get that. Yeah. I do get Even that. Even if I speak yeah. on the phone, <laughs> yeah, say to you, <laughs> yeah. and we talk about a certain key, or I'll get the ads for that, or if mm. we talk about like a certain microphone or whatever, I get the ads oh. for that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sort of so so, so Tim that. infiltrates yeah. your bloody he, feed. It, oh, absolutely. I'm, I'm, yeah, my algorithms leaking through your phone. Absolutely. <laughs> you can talk to someone about a certain product and all of a sudden you're getting ads for that product. Yeah, so get your algorithm. The brave new world is like, don't talk to me about that. I don't want ads. Oh, mm. you mentioned it. In the future, like we'll be talking to each other and somebody else may be able to change your algorithm. Just but in I, I think it does happen. It certainly happens to me and I'm like, oh, here we go. I'm going to get ads for that. Oh, um, it's no good. The brave new no. world. And just, uh, and just <laughs> uh, we, we do world. talk on the phone a fair bit, actually. I was uh, I was going to introduce you earlier to Jeremy as my uh, BPF or fast becoming my BPF. Okay, your what's beats per minute? No, your beats my, per second. Uh, my best phone friend. Oh, oh. BF. <laughs> BPF. Best, best phone. phone. Oh, yeah, of course. Friend. Phone. Yeah. That would be yeah. P. Yeah. 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 Um, we we hit it pretty hard, but it's yeah. Yeah, there's two. It's all preparation for the show. There's at least two hours at a time when we've been talking lately. Mm. And then the other, yeah, New Year's, I, I handed the phone over to you because you were on we your way back. home. Yeah, we, yeah. That, we I think that was a two two hour. Yeah, <laughs> we we went deep. Saga. yeah, that was great. 
that was um, really good. But you're my uh, BPB. Oh, thanks, Tim. I well, bet you're my mine as well. Brother. <laughs> That's what a, fabulous. What yeah. about my best worst friend? Yeah, best worst friend. Did you have a best worst friend at school? Like, like you had to I, think about it because I had, I, and I can mention him, uh, Peter McKenzie. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, tell me like that. a classic example would be they said to us in primary school, like, don't go anywhere near the bloody lines. You know when they used to do the lines around the oval, oh, and the guy yeah. would push the little, you know, um, uh, the line marker Willie, for the for the, the line marker yeah. for the edge of the thing for the sports carnival. He doesn't know Friday. much about sports, so he goes the sport thing with the, the sport thing and the, thing, and the, and the oval, the gra- big grass oval thing. Um, and we weren't allowed to go anywhere near it. And during, during like playtime or whatever, we went up to the taps to get a drink and there was a big bag of lime sitting there where old mate was refilling his bloody lime machine. Don't go near it. And while I was having a drink of your little tap water, he came up behind me and went smash and broke the bag of lime completely over me. I was like completely powdered. What? Like a powdered donut. I've never heard that one. Have you not? Nah. And um, then, the, of course, the principal and the teachers come over. This is in primary school. And they're like, we told you not to play with the lime. I'm covered in lime. I'm going, it wasn't me. I didn't do it. I think- it's kind of hilarious. And he's my, he was my worst best friend, you see. So girls are different. We don't, and, you know, we don't do those kind of pranks. Mm. Your mm. best worst friend I remember was, um, and I, what, well, yeah, are the people that tell you to go up to the boys, you know, yeah. to do that stuff, tell <laughs> yeah. him that I love him. Oh, okay. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. get you, you know, and I was. Do you like my friend? Yeah. So, say, yeah. and I was, so I was always, and this saved me actually. I'm really glad this happened. I was always in high school and I don't remember much of primary school. I've blocked that out because it was okay. a terrible time for me. <laughs> and I did. And I'll tell you why, actually, for anyone that's listening out there who can actually, uh, like, identify with this. But I went to school uh, as the only marginally dark-skinned person. Like, I'm Italian, right? Gotcha. And it was an all-Australian, like, it was white Australia back yeah. there because I grew up in the eastern suburbs. What, what year... So, so I started school when I was four. I was one of those people that, you know, left at 17. Like I was, so I remember, so it was 1982. Oh, right. Bang, smack in the middle of all the. uh, What would you do? do? (laughs) (laughs) So you put that, yeah, yeah. I was going to say something like. Stand up and flame the trees round the weary drivers. So. all cultures. Yeah. Boo. Yeah, 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 <laughs> Stop making requests. James Frain, was he kind of, oh, yeah, God. yeah, yeah. So um, you had a tough time in those days so being, It was yeah. really hard because I used to get picked on a lot, a yeah. lot, a lot. So I kind of blacked that out, went to a different high school and that was okay. But back then, if, you know, the curvaceous movement hadn't begun back then. Yeah. So being mm. really stick skinny was the thing, right? Yeah. So I was always like the token fat kid and I look back at my photos and I wasn't really a fat teenager. Do you know when you look back at photos and you go, go, fuck. (laughs) I was gorgeous. Mm. I didn't know I was gorgeous, but back then being a size 12 even was considered, because I remember in high school, like it was about really being, because it was friggin' because you know who was in at the time? Courtney Friggin heroin chic. Yeah, it was yeah. heroin chic. It was. it was. Sorry for people. I wasn't into it. It was. Oh, like heroin. It was. They were leaked. It was Kurt Cobain, Courtney yeah. Love, yeah. the rest yeah. of the Shebang a Bang uh, shit show. Yeah. It was, um, it was Pearl Jam. Yeah, oh, mate. Well, the my name's the Jeremy. Jeremy, Jeremy Spooking. Yeah. So I come to high school. Yeah. So it was all of that, and so I was always the one. That was like, go up to him, go up to him, because I would get rejected. Oh, you were the, the messenger. Yeah, so I got rejected. Because I had one of those. Yeah, I, I, I Doing was, my dirty work. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, I was no, the messenger. But you, know, you know, we mentioned on the podcast, you were the, remember the movie Roseanne? And oh. um, he's in the bush going, tell him you love him. <laughs> and he goes, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. No, love. Glove. It, so was that you? <laughs> I was sending my no, my mate Jeremy oh. off to off to the girls. The, like, so you always send a scapegoat, sender. and I yeah. was the scapegoat. So by that time, you'd been rejected forty-seven times, and so you had he, never asked anyone else. But here's out. the thing: so this actually shaped my life because I watched 
all of my friends get used and abused by these mm. young men, right? And I yes. went, this is life, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. And so it was actually really good in a way. And then I hit 18, 17, 18, started clubbing and stuff yeah. and became gorgeous, yeah. right? Slimmed down a bit. I was clubbing all the time. And I remember going to house parties and going, that's oh, Madonna. Remember. And yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah. fuck yeah. off now. Notice. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I was like, Do you know, you know. Check it out. Have you ever seen, what's that movie with um, uh, whatever the hell that movie is? With Jack Black and another person. Shallow Hell. That's the one. And I was like, man, you didn't want me then. You can't have me now. Yeah. And um, mm -hmm. it was kind of like that. Well, like what, cool. what you're saying as well, like Cass, Tim, Tim and I have been saying this to our wives mm. and, and any woman that would listen, our friends, <laughs> that, that <laughs> it, you're right. You look back at the photos and it's it comp your perspective is you completely whack. You look great. At, Compa compared to now, you look better. No, it's just like... When you hear stories from like where Cass says, "Oh, I was big when I was when I was younger," oh, and right, yeah. she makes it sound sound like so much worse, know, so much worse. And then you show her photos of in a you know in a skinny top or whatever, and you go, "Remember, you weren't." Yeah, yeah. it just it's your I perspective. Always, I always like, say to Vanessa if she's thinking, you know, it's it's time time to go back to the old gym. <laughs> it's like just do take a definitely take a photo because yeah. You'll realise in twenty years that it was ridiculous for you to be saying what you're saying right now mm. in twenty years. Look back. I always say to women, particularly, and I say, if you ever look, I I remember every photo I look at, and it's such a sadness for me. And I look at my photos looking back in my twenties, and I was really stunning, and I never knew that. Yeah. And I can remember every photo that I took, thinking I look ugly, I look fat, I look awkward, da 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 da. And I remember those feelings when the photo was taken, mm. rather than thinking but whatever, uh, like I'm having a great time or whatever it is, right? So when I got into my, and this is the beauty about getting into your forties, I think, yeah. is that now, because I, now I just go, listen, I look fabulous. I'm going to rock this. It doesn't matter. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. You go, girl. I'm just going to rock this because in 20 years time, I'm going to exactly. go, you're gonna look back and I'm going to look back and know <laughs> I should have rocked it back then <laughs> yeah, because I looked right. fabulous. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And I always say to my daughter, like, Enjoy it now. Enjoy your life. And I look at the young people now, how amazingly gorgeous they actually are. Like uh, we were. But don't forget for you, back growing up, there was, as we know now, how the world has turned out. It was psychological warfare that was mm. being played out in your uh, 15, 16 year old mind. Absolutely. And, and we weren't aware of how sophisticated it was. Definitely. Building up Nirvana and, and Kate Moss and, and yeah. Naomi Campbell and Absolutely. all that shit. Yeah, where the they're imagery. just like, they're gaunt. Yeah. But but there's something else really sorry to interrupt no, you. No, no, I interrupted just, you. Keep going. But it's just something something that changed which was really significant for me being um an Australian Italian is you never ever feel like here I wasn't I didn't fit because I don't look quintessentially Australian mm. and but then when I went to Italy I wasn't Italian. Yeah. They always go, they could from tell. America, America. <laughs> they they don't know what Australia like America. Yeah. What like, part of the uh, motherland are you from? Uh, over there. Yeah. So what brand am I? Yeah. Southern. <laughs> Is southern. that Sicily? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Southern. Yeah. So, um, so I, what even brand when, am I? Yeah. I ask it, like, what brand are you? Um, I like it. So, so when you're over here, you don't really feel like you fit in right. But something that really was fabulous um, was, so, and so I'm going to say the words. I don't know. Is it politically correct? Can I say them? Say whatever Please. the hell you want. So, you know, we were called, um, I was called a wog. I was called yeah. a chocolate yeah. frog. I was called a Chocolate day. frog? Yeah. Oh, wog. Yeah, wog, right. right. Yeah. And I never knew what it meant because we were like, you're a, you're a chocolate. Yeah. It's rhyming slang. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so I never knew. Mm. And, you know, you called every <laughs> slur under the sun, mm. right? And as a kid, like, you don't know. You don't understand that you're different. Do you know what I mean? And you're brought up, like, told... I mean, I've been told to go back to where I come from, even now as an adult by people. Wow. And like I was born here. <laughs> yeah. To but Melbourne. All right. I'm out of here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, but here's the thing. Then Nick Giannopoulos ah. and um, George, it, yeah. uh, George, yeah. what's Step, his name? Could, yeah. Step, uh, the, uh, they were doing the... Um, Frank Arcato. No, no, no. George, the, um, Nick yeah. Giannopoulos, they did Wogs Out of Work. Yeah. Right? And Acropolis now. Acropolis, Acropolis now, now. Yeah. with um, Maria, yeah. sorry. Mary. Um, Mary Custis. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And George, what's his name? Costanza? No, I, that's who I've got <laughs> in George my head. A it's a C surname. K. K. Do I have to look it up? Yeah. 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 Keep, 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 yeah. Keep going. So they, they actually, what they did for people who were from, um, you know, Lebanese and, well, actually Tahir did that, but... 
what they did was they took the piss out of the word. They actually took ownership over yeah. it. And it actually changed the tide for people of you know Italian, Greek, Lebanese, you know, backgrounds. And that's what changed for us. And I remember that because we used to watch Acropolis now and stuff. So, yeah. Well, but did you... <coughs> are you right there, Tim? Yeah. Oh, that was uh, an Nick interruption. Constantine. George Capinaris. Capinaris. That's who it was, yeah. yeah. But yeah. it's like very over the top and it's stereotypical. Even watching it then, was it like, you know, Con the Frutera style uh, wackiness? Do you know, I don't or... think they could get away with it now. No, um, no, no. no. Um, well, didn't they just do a Netflix... Fucking even China? Vince Colosimo, right? Like even Vince Colosimo, because he's Italian, there was mm. a Spanish guy in it as well. I don't actually think they could get it because it was so politically incorrect back mm. then. Yeah. But us watching it was hilarious yeah. to us. Yeah, but it's and like the, the same the same one with the Money on the Fridge. What was that show? Uh, Kate's, Kate's County or... Country. No, something... Yeah, Money well, on the Fridge. It was very Australiana... It was the same thing. It was like a, it was like an overstating the um, the cultural. Yeah. So what it did though was it poked fun at us, but at the same time allowed people to just relax about it. Mm, yeah. And and it was very clever what they did, and that turned the tide. And I think it, it was helpful. That's actually. what it's thirty years after the mass. Uh, immigration. Immigration. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. From the 50s well, when or we, we went through school, and I, I would say, what, 70, 80% Italian? Yeah, yeah. Italian? yeah we went to Silesians. Yeah. yeah. Um, really? Yeah. yeah, and we had like. There was a nickname for you, boy. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Give what us was it? It was. Excellent. Sleeze. 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 Yeah. 100%. That's partly my fault. Yeah, that's, yeah. I, I, Jeremy's got a lot to do with I, it. I, yeah, I can see that totally. <laughs> Where did you go? Sacred Heart. No, 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 but I had friends that went to Sacred Heart and did. we used to hang out, out around here and yeah. go to all the little, you know, do you remember like the, when you were 15, 16, the little parties and stuff that yeah, down in Mount Waverley? Yeah. And we used to go around God, to all you it. boys actually because <laughs> yeah, yeah, we yeah. knew you were the sleezers. <laughs> and I used to go around with an empty packet of cigarettes right. yeah. and go up to all of you going, um, can, I, can I buy them a cigarette? Yeah. And then they'd go, I'll light it for you. And be like, no, no, that's no, okay. And we'd fill the packet up. Yeah. 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 It See, was running, so good. Running grifts. Yeah. You used to run grifts on the um, tuck shop line for, for coinage. Oh, man. We used to run that dry <laughs> so every cool every recess. Oh, yeah, boys. it was an absolute Catholics. nightmare. But if when you went into the depths of like the science rooms right down the back, mm. there was the wall of photos of past students and we all found out at one stage it was Salesians co-ed. was co ed. <gasps> at one you must stage have been and we so were upset like, about Yeah, that. they like, put that I think they just put that in there to sort of like tease us a little. You know what I mean? Yeah. They knew we were gonna see it. So I think it was probably a good thing. I think the teen pregnancy rate went up. When that was co-ed. Yeah, yeah. And they went, we got to shut this we down. we got to shut it, shut oh, yeah. it down. <laughs> God's, uh, he ain't no, he ain't happy with this. Was it, was it particularly all Caucasian? When no, you got, no. No, because no. it was very, Italian. very Italian, wasn't it? I thought yeah, yeah, so. Italian, yeah. Greek, yeah. then Vietnamese when, you know, they started. Late, later, later on. Later on. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, mainly and then, Italian and Greek. But it was very segregated. The, yeah, we, for sure. we definitely, yeah. there, there was, was the Greek boys, Italian dudes, there was a, skips. Uh, there was a skips versus wogs Absolutely. Uh, fight on the oval that one time. Who won? Uh, would have been the wogs. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> <I> <laughs> mean, dirty, dirty but efficient. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. I mean, we had that as well at our high school. It was, I mean, we hung out. It was just, it was me, Greek girls, Just a Macedonian. racial stampede. It was. Uh, when you guys fought. Yeah. I mean, who I, who, who initiated it? I, oh, I, it was you, wasn't it? I never no, got no, into was, any fight. I'm a lover. a lover. He's a lover, not a not fighter. Not a fighter. Um, right. I'm yeah, ruled by more, intimidation, I was, in, I was more into Batman, Star Wars, and the Smurfs. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and the and library, getting limed. And, and, yeah, yeah. Getting limed and... Yeah, you were uh, way ahead of that Batman stuff and comics. Uh, yeah, yeah, but like, whatever. Someone's got to do it. And now look, the ge- geek is chic. That's true. How old's your daughter? She's fourteen. Oh, jeez. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's a nightmare. No, she's fabulous. Okay, oh, she's she's got a good one. She's got great. a good one. Yeah, yeah. great. I'd, great. You got a good I one. I was a youth worker in my past life, so like, uh-huh. I actually was a youth Current worker. Life. Is that? Do you know what oh. that is, Tim? It's um because it's the old computer. That used to happen on the old podcast as Dude, well. I remember now. Yeah, and it's the same glitch. I've had before. massive computer issues. and Yeah, yeah. we're getting... It's a nightmare. It's a well. nightmare. They've got us by the short and curlies with the I'm old sure technology. Do. I know. 
Uh, I left my I left my phone in the um in the car today. We had to go and do a computer mission. Where I left my car there, and me bloody phone, me bloody phone. Sure enough, get back. No one's called. Didn't even no. need it. No, you didn't need it. Oh, I couldn't do that. No, I'd feel lost without. Yeah, yeah. I did. I did. I felt lost and bored Com- at a computer <laughs> shop. <laughs> For Imagine sure. that. I ca- no, I don't. Imagine going to a computer shop with someone that's totally into it, and you're totally not. No, no, no nah. that was with um. Oh no, I another mate. It was like, oh, you need a, you need a nine eighty six P seven eight, and then you get it home and you go, oh, you wanted the seven six <laughs> P thirty nine eighty. Do you find sometimes um I sit like I could be out and about right, just on my own having a coffee. And I listen to what men talk about, and I have to say they are boring as bad. Boring, no, hundred yeah. percent, like boring. boring. And men are very superficial. Mm. Like they'll say, "Oh, my car," or whatever. They talk yeah. like on a very superficial well, we call level. it uh, water cooler. It's, it's all, yeah. um, it's all short talk. Yeah, how's the weather? How's the footy? How's your it's car? Never long, how's it's never long talk. It's always short talk. Boring mm. as. Yeah. That shit. Yeah. yeah. Why are you so boring? Because well, hopefully not that boring. The I'm not talking about the, you. The, I was saying <laughs> a collective the turn, you. Like, uh, but what because, is with that? Because, um, because, because sports, because, uh, because work, because guns, because guns, because boats, um, fishing. Yeah, because. Yeah, but don't you like? I'm being really serious <laughs> no, now. No, for sure. Yeah, so are we. So, so yeah. like, <laughs> if because women, I find like if I'm with my, so. I've come to Victoria, I've come to Melbourne and I've caught mm. up with a girlfriend that I haven't seen since before I left. And it was like, right where we left off, yeah. bang, yeah. straight into it, straight into the depths. It was like, hey, going, oh my God, mm. bang. And off we go from where we left off, right? It was just straight into the depths of what we wanted to talk about. It was none of this superficial shit. Right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I think but, I think that superficial is like um, two mates that aren't really mates catching up after a while. And they've got nothing to talk about. Or two dead shits get together because dead shits are attracted to dead shits. Are you sure? Because I, 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 I see, even if I'm at a cafe, and I'm like, if my friend came up to me and talked about his boat, yeah, I yeah. would be like, listen, I, I, you know, my life, I'm, yeah, on, I'm, I'm on a time clock. But do you have a boat? Yeah. Pardon? Do you have a boat? No, uh, but, but who wants one? I don't want a boat. Is it a tinny or is it a, just a standard? But even they talk about cu- it's very superficial. I wonder yeah. is it because see, women will talk. Mm. Um, if only men knew, women will talk about their partners and they'll say, "Well, this is what's going on." You know, if it's someone they're really comfortable with, because they need to talk about stuff, right? Mm. Men, I don't think would do it. that. I think I we need to it. do a Freaky Friday Friday body swap. Oh, uh, yeah, well, we say this exact same phrase the, at the exact, exact same, same time, time. I wish as I'd... the lightning and then, goes. And then we swap bodies, and you get to be us for a day. Oh, my God, I would so love that. Oh, my God. That, I, I'm going to tell you. No, that was my dream. Because I know. I just, I, because I want to be a woman. Secretly. Oh, my God. I'd so want to be a woman. <laughs> I want to hang out yeah. with chicks, like, I, find I, out what they're really Which is strange, because the, the, the magic ability I wanted to do is change into anything, you know, at like, any say, time, form like, of a gorilla, form of a sexy lady. Form of an ice bucket full of I water. I would for example. love every man to experience what it's like to be a woman. I'm going oh. to tell you, when you become a man, mm. the worst place you're going to find, like one of the most depressing, because you know you hate hearing men talk, sure. the boring men. Yeah. Uh, you're not a man hater, I'm not saying that. No, no. but Just I, the boring I, ones. No, but I think but that men are... Re- sorry, go, yeah. A man's bucks party, right, I'd where die. you've been invited to, where you don't know all the other dudes there. This is the worst place for conversation that you've is the ever worst place. Wouldn't, ever been to. Well, where's the Bucks party? Well, first we start at well, the go-karts. It's a mutual friend. You, you're an old school friend, and then he's got all his office mates and work mates and concrete mates there. Oh, so concreters too. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. So it starts off early at go-karts, or maybe golf. Golf. <laughs> right, we'll start with golf for the yeah, Bucks right. party. We'll do quick nine holes, um, drinking the whole time. Then when we start to loosen up, maybe we'll go to the pub for a quick cannery. Yeah. Then we'll get into the buses and we'll go to the strippers. But um, it's small talk, but, small talk. And it's this 19 is hours. Yeah. It's the worst. I get, I've get. i got a good hard bailout of any situation. I've got a gig. Um, right. I yeah. Instantly, it's, it's my ticket out of here. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I always like an exit. I like a clean exit in the... Um, I always plan an exit where I'm hanging out with dudes. Isn't that interesting? Because cause <laughs> women can be, like, 
women can be, I mean, if they're super fit or just talk about their kids or, but even then it's always about Revealing the secrets about us. <laughs> it's, it's interesting because I find there's some really intelligent men you can, and I, I mean, obviously like men are really intelligent, quite deep. And when men actually become vulnerable mm. and tell you what they're thinking, it is like, that is profound. It's great. Mm. Really great. Like <laughs> yeah. seriously great. But and if you can roll a tear, oh, oof, it's pretty, oof. yeah, profound. But <laughs> he's, he's, a, he's a catch. What a catch. <laughs> but I just find, um, yeah, I'd love to, I'd love to have that, that Freaky Friday moment yeah. where I'm like, cause I find, I think it would be quite intimidating in some ways being like, I, I, I wonder what it would like, be like to be a man and be out there and what. I don't know. Okay, well let's the let's just take a one back ste- one step back for the fr- sake of the Freaky Friday. Is it lightning? Is mm. it a jinx? Is it um, mm, what's maybe. your method of, of of turning into the other person? It's got to be a full moon or a, a moon. blood moon or some Special. sort of space space, and then lightning. It's got to be a time frame on it as well. Yeah, like, how do we get back? Could be as simple as staring into the mirror and saying the exact same thing at the exact, exact same, same time. time. <laughs> we did it again. We swapped back that time. Yeah, now we're back. In, you too. Are we back mm. in each other's bodies now? Sentences. <laughs> okay. Could you imagine how freaky that would be, though? That'd be freaky amazing. Friday. It'd be so much fun. It's definitely been done a lot of times in the movies. We could. I know. We because, could pitch it because it is the question of the ages, isn't mm. it? It's mm. like men want to understand women. Women want to understand what women. do women want? Uh, men well, from Venus. <laughs> men, men are what? Mars. What is it? <laughs> I don't read much. <laughs> what is it? Man, Herald's son. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, know what it shit. is at this point. Well, you can define what a man and a woman is. It's we're on the right path, though. Oh, yeah. Well, that's getting harder and harder to do every day, isn't it? <laughs> that's true. That is yeah. true. I mean. The muddy, uh, the muddy waters uh, that are ahead of us. Uh, yeah. So we didn't actually establish whether you had the worst best friend. Was there one in particular or not yeah, really? Yeah, I did. Or you I don't had, want to call her out? I don't want to call. Well... Yeah, you just, just call her Maria. Well, I guess. Yeah, well, it kind of almost <laughs> rhymes. Mary. Out. Mary. Okay. I yeah. did have a worst best friend, and she used to set me up to go and. Um, oh, she was the. She okay, was she the was one. instigated. Because I, w- I was thinking more along the lines of the one that whose house you go to and then you sneak out at night. You know? Gotcha. That go was on. our house. <clears throat> yeah, right. Okay. okay. Only, only scam boogery, though. Like, you, the oh, old yeah, go steal a garden gnome. Take it on a holiday, take photos of it, write letters, <laughs> and then and then give it back like a couple of years later, or maybe kick down a few letter boxes. Or just what I used to say, like, <laughs> but before all this was even a thing, right? We used to carry around a little voice recorder with us. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was a big thing. Mm. That was before the emails and the the recording. And so we kind of invented the internet, but. That's not. Oh, I thought you were going to say podcasting. <laughs> that, that's where you invented podcasting. And then we moved on to the video cameras. We were big with video cameras when we were growing up. Mm. Lots of skits, lots of stuff like that. Um, that's is that, amazing. Did, did you, you, you never came across anybody else that was doing that? Because we, we feel like we're, you know, with our friend circles, we're the only ones that would create content. Yeah. We, you know no, I mean? we. Because you're a content creator. Well, right? I know, but we. No. Uh, my friends, when when we, I got older, we were literally insane. Mm. So I had friends that would go around, like I had a, my best friend at the time, and he's still actually my best friend. He was as amazing. Um, so I'm not going to name him because Don't. he would die. But he used to go, like he was so ahead of his time and we'd go into shopping centres and he would do like outrageous stuff that we'd even kicked out of stores. Like he would, uh, he'd oh, go yeah. up, he'd go in front of the you know, security guards and just walk around going, I'm a beetle. I'm a beetle. And he just. Ah, uh, he was the, um, who's, who's that from Encino man? Um, Paulie uh, Shaw. Paul Shaw. Yeah, he, he was, was your Paulie Shaw. He was definitely walking to no, like. No, he's in the jewels. He was definitely okay. like, he would, I'd, you know, he'd go, go into the, like, you know, the he's, grass test, he's testing the, uh, your embarrassment gland. Yeah, but I don't yeah. get embarrassed. That's the thing. Yeah, no, so I. You're I'm perfect not, together then. Yeah, like, so I don't, so we'd go into like, you know, um, whatever bra, whatever they call bras and things. And he'd start <laughs> trying on the bras and we'd get kicked out. Like they were really, back then it was just. Mm. Jazz bras. Jazz bras, jazz jeans. <laughs> exactly. Uh. <laughs> exactly. Does cuts. But even we used to go to the lengths of getting dressed up to the nines and he would do dares like, 
let's go to Crown when they'd have like a proper function or a wedding and see if we can get in and crash. Really? Crash. Yeah. So, so we he was taking it to the next level. We used to do that a lot, um, a, a lot when we were in our twenties. I mean, it was a lot of fun. Did you get in? Yeah, heaps. So of you're basically you basically invented Jackass then. Pretty much. Well, you invented the movie The Wedding Crashes. We, well, absolutely. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And we did it a lot, like at Crown. Um, so you actually went through with it and did it? Yeah. Okay, excellent. He had a lot of – he was really ballsy, like, and so it gave me the impetus to go. And, like, he, he – what he'd do is have, like, this really, you know – poker face but then once we'd get away with it he would just laugh hysterically so it was fabulous oh, he's your best worst friend yeah. or worst best friend yeah he was full he on. could have got you into trouble but yeah. he never did worst, and you best can't worst, best worst friend yeah he you just can't stay on. away from these people is the point even though yeah they could get you into trouble but mostly it's going to be fun yeah i of. mean but you could really get yourself into trouble do you know what i mean but we ended up yeah, he was he was really good fun. It's those were the days. Do you know what I mean? Like you, you get there, you can get away with a bit. There weren't cameras watching you at every. Yeah, it wasn't cameras. Everywhere. No, you didn't need to swipe into anything. Yeah, no check ins. Remember that? Remember that? Never no, checked no, in. No. <laughs> and people weren't worried about, you know, their personal safety. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It wasn't this whole thing about you know your personal safety and. Well, I had it. I had a little incident at work yesterday. Mm. It's happened some uh, roofing dudes out. We just had to access the neighbor's driveway for, for literally five seconds Ooh. just to pass the sheets up. Yeah, they weren't like room. that. Knocked on the door. She wasn't there. She was at the gym. Fair enough. So we tried. When she got home, there was the whole, do you have uh, permission to trespass onto my property conversation? Oh. Right? We, 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 we were, you know, we're talking about two or three sheets of tin. So she checked her ring security, perhaps. Oh, she and then must have. She must have been getting alerts at the gym. That makes a lot of sense. Mm. That makes a lot of sense. But uh, what I was, why I bring that up is that it's the whole neighbor thing. You know, you're not, your neighbors are. Uh, yeah. There's a definite border between properties. It's called a fence, and it's <laughs> and fences and trees. Are the it's my speciality. <laughs> my, my speciality, but yeah. it's the two things that's going to get you into a brawl with your your neighbors. Your neighbors. I don't talk to I don't talk to my neighbors because of the fence I built. Branches and borders. Yeah, it's branches. a matter oh, of fact. Oh, can we do a TV show? We can we can a picture show. Absolutely. Branches and borders. Okay. Absolutely. It's all about neighbor um, conflicts over either a branch. I think you're talking about goes. a current affair. I was just, I <laughs> oh, believe they, they did a whole, yeah. It's only on nine. <laughs> only on nine. <laughs> nine. Nine. Tabloid TV. Tonight on nine. Well, I believe that is the biggest <laughs> complaint that neighbours have yeah. is about their fences. Well, that's the only time you need to oh, talk no, to them. You've also got the occasional tidbit news story with the um, neighbours that have too much junk in their front yard. Oh, hoarders. Yeah. Hoarders. hoarders. He's a hoarder. Tonight on seven. Only on nine. Only on nine. It's a nightmare, though. <laughs> if you if you were living next to one of the hoarders. Mm. There were a lot where I used to There's live, rats actually. And involved okay. possums, yeah. raccoons, perhaps. Raccoons? In not not necessarily in Australia. Squirrels. I call them raccoons, too. Yeah, okay. yeah why not? Why not? Who They're cares? rummaging possums. around. Yeah. 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 Scratching yeah. about. Mm. Mammals? It's a community concern. Mammals or marsupials? <laughs> Here's the thing, mammals or marsupials. Mm. Well, other people mammals are marsupials That's right. because bloody animals. It's a well it's a <laughs> it's an issue, public health issue. It's a it's an actual mental health issue. It is. And it is. It's and, a real and God sadness. forbid if we had to live next to a mental case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I want you out of here. Sit next to one. What, you can't put that wet box away? <laughs> I won't throw it away, that's for sure. You're not going to sit on that couch ever, are you, mate? I don't have to no, I've got you. plans for that couch. Okay, because I've got, I've got a... Um, he's not a hoarder, he's nothing like that, but he's, he's the local guy that's been here forever and will be here to the, to the bitter end. Right. Um, hoping to inherit his mother's house one day. Uh -huh. The kind of guy that goes past on my security camera and I catch him throwing bur uh, throwing rocks at a tree to just at the oh, magpies. Cause yeah. The kind of guy that stone the, the crows, stoning yeah. the crows, stone the crows. <laughs> the kind of guy that will take my lawnmower off out of no, your well, he driveway. Did, he didn't. No, the kind of guy <laughs> that would would rock up and lag out his mate that took your mower well, yeah. out of the driveway because he felt bad. Mm. How old is he? Uh, oh, oh, 60 he's... soaking wet. Yeah, soaking wet. <laughs> 65. He's got but, the gout. But gout from here to, from here to kneecap. Yeah. We call him Trevor. <laughs> we do call him Trevor. We don't reveal his real name. Trevor the, the Trout. We'll yeah. just yeah. call him, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, 
everywhere's got a Trevor. They do. The local guy. Used what to be we mental about? Pete when we were, when we were growing up. Remember that? Yeah, you can't <laughs> say that anymore. Can you? You can't say mental. No, but mental is also well. What? So are we banning mental as anything? Is that where we're going uh-huh. here? Well, where I live, right in the land of the queens, mm. there's an actual restaurant. There was a restaurant called the Black Bear because there mm. are black bears in the world. There are, okay. and it actually has its mascot is a black bear. Gotcha. Yeah. And they had to change it to the bear. Because it's uh. politically incorrect to call it the black bear. Believe that. Oh, I thought you were going to go somewhere down the um, no, but fetish line. No, I like, wasn't. He's a black bear oh. over there. Yeah, oh, he's no, a hairy I didn't bear. even think. See, yeah. I didn't even think yeah. that. Oh. No. We're all just bears. No. Oh. Specific bears. Uh, it's the gay no, club. I didn't mm. think that, but like no. Like the Blue Oyster Bar. Oh. They don't sell oysters. Mm. <laughs> no, but no, but I see where you're going with that, but mm. no. It's no, it had because people saw the word black and went, there's got to be something wrong with this. Even though the mascot is an, it's like saying <laughs> like, you know, a polar bear's white. It's a white bear. No, no, we can't call it a white bear because that's racist. Mm. The, the, it's racist. like calling him, it's the drunken Irish poet. And it's like, oh, we've got to take Irish out. Now. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Why put Irish in there? Because you're selling alcohol? Yeah. Racist. <laughs> I just uh, even bad so, example. Yeah. You, you know, you're it's talking right. about like you know, it is. It's far too politically correct. Mm. So you're saying, well, mental Pete, but that's what you. Well, about. he was. was I mean, he was in mental. the eighties. He no, he no, just he had was, a he, he had a, do, He was violent. Yeah, he was. He would do crazy things. He it, would be the kid with the. Um, it was the big boy of the town. Yeah, it was so big and I don't know if you remember. Bike. People used to have races. Do you remember races? I remember the, the type bikes. of bike. I'm old the type enough of bike. Was, to remember when people went outside on their bikes. Yeah, well, there was BMXs. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> BMXs, right? Which we all tore around in. And then there was races for for the older kids, for the teenagers and stuff like that, which had gears on it, all that kind mm. of stuff. He was the kind of guy that would have. A racer, but it had a racer wheel at the front and a BMX wheel at the back. Yeah. So it'd be up like a chopper. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got you. Got and you? Uh, Did he, he run you over? He was always on the run from the cops. Oh. Cops, yeah. um, How- cops trying to get me. He would have been about 12, 13. Uh. <laughs> yeah, we were seven. He <laughs> was <laughs> yeah. Fifth, yeah, Oh, but, that. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> as he got older, he... He stayed the same. Yeah. Yeah, he stayed the same. So he had some... Well, of course. Clearly, yeah, but um, you know, every every area has one, doesn't it? Doesn't, Definitely, doesn't, doesn't they? <laughs> like a Trevor is what I mean. Uh, everyone's Trevor, got a the Trevor. guy that the, the guy that goes around, you know. So I'm working on something. Uh, let me. What do you think about this is okay. it for notes? And we can go on it. Um, something I was working on. Drinking spirits fucks with your gut navigation GPS. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. Yeah. Beers, I'm, 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 I can walk a straight line, but right. the spirits, after like, if I get drunk on spirits, yeah, my GPS is all off. Don't okay. know where I'm it's going. Yeah, you're talking like, uh, like is where you are. Is this the name of a song or what's what's this? <laughs> no, this is. <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I think we discovered. Are you this. writing a book? Yeah, this is for the podcast. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> this okay. Is for um, now. Because what? Can I just give an example? We're yeah. on our way home from New Year's actually, mm. and Jesbot was was every every once in a while giving the Uber guy with the map directions, and <laughs> well, he was like, "To live here," <laughs> and it was like back towards the city rather right. than towards our place. And we're like, "Oh man," <laughs> he's like, "Oh, I've been drinking Scotch this all right." <laughs> <laughs> but don't you think the genesis of the problem is yeah. go back to that? Can you read it out again? Well, it's uh, drinking spirits fucks with your gut navigation GPS. I okay. actually think drinking spirits turns you into a backseat driver. Mm. I think that's probably more okay. to the point. Jeremy because is a notorious backseat driver. Because here's the thing: <laughs> why are you backseat driving? Because he's a control freak, and when, um, if he's not holding the wheel, he's talking about the wheel. See, here's the thing: it. I heard the best <laughs> saying when I was in my—I think I was 19—and I was oh. with a friend, and she was driving, mm. and I'm like, "Turn here, do this," and she goes, "She just simply said this." And I've said it ever since. She turned to me and she goes, Mads, who's fucking this chicken? Yeah. Okay. yeah. And okay. I said, you Aussie are. Has. Yeah. I think and I've never heard it before in my life being, you know, wog. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. who's fucking? And it's perfect because it's like, exactly. You are. I'm not fucking the chicken. You're fucking the chicken. Keep doing By it. By the way, mm. totally illegal. To do either. Fuck the chicken. Okay. Although, yes. Uh, and and just on a uh, update of, we did an episode called uh, Cook Truck. Cook, crook, crook, 
Chook. Chook. Trying to remember. Is mm. that right? Yeah. Uh, anyway, I got. I was working around a chicken coop, yeah. building a fence, and it was raining. And anyway, I got sick. I got really sickly. It's the second time that I've got sick from being around chooks. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, uh, working uh, just, very close to the... Um, just an update on those five chickens. Yeah. Yeah, they're all dead. How? Uh, the fox got them. <gasps> so, see, uh, oh, there's, go see the, fox, the foxes in this area are rife because we've got the reserve down the bottom there. Mm. So they're bloody crossing. They're really everywhere. There. You need to put that song, you know, and the fox, the fox goes... Or, okay, now we're back to the gut compass, right? Yeah. Uh, drinking spirits fucks with your gut compass. Gut compass, is that a better way to say gut navigation navigation GPS? Yeah, sure. Yeah, gut yeah. compass. But does your gut have a compass? Uh, yeah, it knows. Well, you've got, okay. got, you right, got your intuition. You've got your intuition, which is a gut compass, but was yeah. that? But it's actually not I'm intuition. talking about up, down, left, right, 360. So, so that okay. wasn't your gut compass because that's your intuition. No, so it is your yeah. GPS system, isn't I'm it? talking about when you're, you've had a gut full and you're lying down at the end of the night. And you start like your gut starts. You're a human you buoy. St- you, <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so that's great. On the, on the ocean of the night. On the ocean of the night, you're a human this buoy. This is great. So, that's a great name for that song. It's pretty good. Oh, on the ocean. So on the ocean of the night. <laughs> human buoy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, yeah. maybe it fucks with your. Oh. Well, look, this is one thing. Straight. Well, that's what I'm saying. You can't drink water to balustrate your gut compass. Okay. You think you think you're on the ocean. <laughs> you're the buoy, buoy, and you're gonna drink a lot of water to stop the spinning and to stop the up and down mm. feeling. Mm. It's not gonna is work. That, what about the pre the pre balustrate, which is You've, the um, a, cu- a glass of milk? Is that is that an urban? I myth? would not bring in the milk into in, any kind of gut compass in, into situation. Any spirit no, no, this is a bad okay. idea. Because our grandmother used to drink um, Bundy. Bundy rum, Bundy mm. rum, is that what it's called? Sure. Uh, with milk. Oh, isn't that? Um, wow. Isn't that like because because you got the uh, white Russian is with yeah. vodka. So if you got like uh, uh, white Scotch trash, like, I think we call white it. Trash. <laughs> Are you allowed to call it a white Russian, or is it just I a Russian? Know. Oh no, we're gonna uh. shut that down, Black Bear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shut it down, Black Bear. Black Bear. Shut it, down, Black shut, bear. It down, Black shut it down, Black Bear. Shut it down, Black Bear. We've got a you white think it's Russian. A superior drink, do you? Because yeah? <laughs> it's so. Yeah. Yeah, so anyway, this is about the time of the podcast where I go through some of my notes just to get rid of them for the week. Because oh, not everything works, picks. you know. Not yeah. everything works. So that the gut compass was obviously a, not a, not a bad is, like That's obviously thought of lying on your back full full to the brim. Mm. You're brimming, right? Oh, you're brimming. With alcohol. Yeah. Is that where you came up with that one? I think I was like, I was oh, my my bellist- bellist- spinning around. <laughs> <laughs> bellist- <laughs> spinning around like Kylie Minogue. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I do like Kanye. What else you got in your crap notes? <laughs> All right. Well, uh, you've heard big fish, small bowl, right? Mm-hmm. And I, oh, I've just changed it to like because I'm into plants and horticulture and whatnot. So I just, not. I just instead of a fish, it's a plant. Instead of mm. a bowl, it's a pot. Okay. <laughs> so it's completely different. <laughs> yeah. No, Land but this is what, sea. and this is what happens with people's lives. Like you, you, you're born or you purchased from the from the nursery as a small plant. Right. Right, and you grow to the size of your pot. Your roots can only go that far right. before it's blocked off mm. by the, the void of the black plastic, right? Okay. Mm. And then your roots just go spinning around, 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 around that pot. Yeah. Until your overlord or the owner of the plant puts you into a bigger pot. Ships you across. Right? Mm. And then your roots get bigger, and so you need a bigger a bigger pot. And this oh, is yeah. what happens with us in life, isn't it, people? It is, there? it is. It's like the more you have, the, the bigger the, the, more bigger the house is, yeah. the more shit the more you're going to put in it. Yeah. And how far do you want your uh, your roots stemming out to the edge of the bowl? Like, how big do, how big do you think your bowl needs to be? <laughs> My <laughs> bowl needs to be <laughs> under an acre. Is it? You know that? I would love to have an acre. That would be enough for me never to go to Coles New World Order ever again. No woolies. Mm. That's so interesting. Yeah, one uh, acre. I never understand the growing your own um, growing your own stuff because, like, for, for, for six months there, you're just eating carrots. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. you had a good carrot run Seasonal. This yeah. My vision is not, nothing like <laughs> I've had before. 
Oh, well, it took three months just to eat the bowl of potatoes we just cooked last night. <laughs> yeah, it did. But it did. Uh, you can't do it in small areas. You need a, like a you need a field, you need a an field, acre, like you need that, an yeah. acre. But you know, there's, there's so many zucchinis I grew. Like. Yeah, but you're growing you're growing future work as well. So yeah. you've got those zooks. The zooks come out, and then you got you got a thousand zooks at once. Yeah. Now, what do we do with all the zooks? And I think the thing is that we our lifestyle does not support this idea of... No. I know, you know what I'm going to say, yeah. don't you? Well, I'm kind of going. So here's the thing. I think, was I telling... No, I wasn't telling you, Tim. I was telling someone else today. Like, I was driving down North Road, actually, this morning. Oh. And I had this profound, like, thought. Well, it was profound to me. So I was driving, and I was driving around all of these 5G towers and stuff. And I was like, okay. Mm. And it, because I've moved... Coming back from Queensland has been an amazing shift because you realise that here in Victoria, people live to work. Yeah. They don't work to live, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to get to your point. I'm going to get, I'm going to get there. Um, yeah. So what happened, I was driving and I was realising, so I'm driving around all these towns, driving around all of this new infrastructure, new, 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 new roads. Heaps, new little, heaps man. Yeah. Heaps of um, little terribly like who's the architect? I'd like oh, to know on anything. It's that's called been, French provincial. It's anything that's yeah, been. It's, the worst. it's just called, it's called Murvac. It's called box. <laughs> yeah, box over here, and there's a box over there. Yeah. Just boxy, boxy. No, and no colour. It's it's yeah. whites or greys. What yeah. what it is is Render. someone had a sale on shit colour at Bunnings. Yeah, and they just everybody went, bought it, and everyone bought yeah. it. Yeah. You know what I mean? The colour it just borry. <laughs> Bory Brown, Borry. Borry Moreau. Oh man, that's one I haven't heard in a long and time. And they just went and bought it up and, and just splashed it all over Victoria. But And it's already kind of a grey state anyway, do yeah. you know what I mean? Yep. So I was driving down North Road and it's kind of overcast I'm, and I'm watching all the cars, you know, zigzag. It's kind of almost like um, pirouetting actually mm. was amazing. I like watching that. Were you watching me drive down North Road I today was on the you. way home? Because I did, I did was pirouetting. Right. I love it. It's almost right. like ballet to me. I love watching mm. it. And But I was thinking, look at Victorians just live to work. It is this whole thing, work, work. We've got to work. We've got to work to get the money, to get the house, to get this. It's all about industry, right? Yeah. yeah. And this is the only state that I've ever seen people pay with their phones. Yeah. I mean, it's probably happening in yeah, other states, see, I but I haven't seen I it. Yeah. I see it everywhere. Everywhere yeah, I go, I don't pay like with that phones. I, yeah, I don't like it either. I, I hate it, right? But yep. for, but the thing is, and this is getting to your house. So, and I was saying to my daughter, like when we moved to Queensland, when I was younger, and you know, you see your parents. So you watch your parents, mm. um, constantly working to get a house. And they're like, I've got to get a bigger house. I'm going to get a bigger house. I'm going to get a better house. I'm going to get this, you know, better Car. area, better Boat. area for the yeah, kids to live, right? Or... Better school. And and I said to her, you always want better for your children, right? But it's never enough. Yeah. yeah. And our lifestyles, right, do not actually match the ideal of I'd love to grow my, I'd love to do this because we're so friggin' busy. Yeah. yeah. And actually, if you were to have that garden, right, because being Italian, mm. I watched my family have garden all the time. Yeah. You need to have so much time to be able to tend to the earth, you do. right? Yeah. And so that's why we don't have them because you would actually we're too, we're too and distracted by. Well, you get greedy with the, your your backyard that you you bought in Clayton, and you got this massive um, backyard. You just you see the dollar signs. You go subdividing it, subdivide it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. And then what happens is like what happened to me today is you end up in flash flooding situations mm. because the infrastructure that was built 50, 60, 70 years ago does not support the no. subdivision of property that you've got now three or four or six families living on a thousand metres yeah. or two thousand metres square. And all that water that's supposed to be soaking into the ground is going straight onto the roofs, into the stormwater, and it just cannot, yeah. cannot yeah. deal with it. Well, there's no <coughs> pipelines. Any, All the pipes and everything, the infrastructure that was built 50 years ago can it's never useless. be changed, yeah. right? Mm. So all of a sudden, it just it's flowing down basically Maroondah Highway like a river, <laughs> which is what I got caught in. <laughs> which yeah. it would have you been got, a you river. Got the, you got stuck in a little... Little flash flood. Yeah, definitely. And is, it, is there such a thing as a little flash flood? Yeah, I, I guess think so. It's kind of says the well, scale flash of it. <laughs> indicates that it's quick. Yeah. yeah well, it was. It little was, means it goes. Well, it did after about I guess half an hour, but it was really scary. Like I was, I had to like get to high. I had to get off the main road and get to like a higher. Mm. I found a higher court actually, 
But um, but I was I've been walking around the area and just speaking to like people, neighbors, and stuff um of my family that I'm staying with, and I was like, oh, I love the architecture, you know, older homes, and they said it's it's crap because of all the building, of all the flats in that. Because if you look anywhere you go now, mm. they've just built everything up. And especially mm. in areas like the city of Maroondah or the city of Casey. Box Hill. Anywhere yeah. that had a thousand metre squares or, or more, yep. they just subdivided the crap out yep. of it, right? Yeah. And so what's happened is that any of the houses that are on the lower side of the hill, they're getting flooded every time it rains. And so this guy says his house has been flooded like 10, 15 times. Oh the, the, the garage of his house, which is they actually have, they've got it decked out, right? And so um, this is what's going on. This is a big problem for Yeah, for it's Victoria. divide and conquer. Divide mm. and yeah. subdivide and conquer. D- absolutely, <laughs> because who actually is winning is the developers. Well, Coles, yeah. Coles New World and Woolies absolutely. as well. Absolutely. Sure, because sure. uh, Alberto, my, my good Sicilian mate across the road, he's uh, an Angeline, uh, yeah. Angelique. Uh, they're in their 80s, late 90s. Wow, and beautiful. they they've Convinced got their... Convinced Jeremy's name is James. He, James? Call, he calls me James. Oh, that, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's what and you that's are. That's what we are. Yeah. And I'm fine with that. He'll, yeah, I'm, that's it. I'm and nice. he'll, he'll call me up and I'll go, I'll come over because his, his, his English is, ah, it's patchy, but we understand each other. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and so I'll go over there and he'll just like load me up with lettuce and yeah, tomatoes. Yeah, he'll flash his green thumb at you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yes. beautiful. Beautiful, um, beautiful. They managed to have his, his backyard and then the house to the left, he, the son bought, and then instead of subdividing it and b- building a unit, it's garden. Yeah. yeah. So that's yeah. where he's got his tomatoes and all his... It's yeah, crazy, yeah. but like producing so much food that, and I know that they they're producing so much food because their yellow bin, their recycling bin, never goes out. All right. So they they don't go to Coles. No. no. Yeah. Gotcha. At all. They, they've gotcha. got the chickens, and when the there's chickens no stop, there's, there's no, no tins. There's no bottles. Yeah. Occasionally a, a stubby or two. But the thing is. It would be really interesting for you to ask um, Angelo, did you say? Alberto, Al- but I'll start Alberto. calling him. Call him Angelo. <laughs> Angelo, see what he read. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, it would be interesting to ask how much time, because he would be spending all of his time in that garden. That's all they do. That's all they do. and yeah. it's Because I watched my parents do it. Yeah. And it was... But it keeps them strong. Absolutely. It does. It does. Absolutely. Because Stronger it's, chap. Because I, I, it's I banned organic. him from maybe five years ago. I stare out the window and he's up the ladder trying to cut this palm tree. That, and I'm like, yeah, oh, I just no, went, no. I just went, right, that's that's it. Alberto. Just yeah. no, no more climbing ladders, mate. I, I'm, yeah. I'll, I'll do it for you. Yeah, because oh, they, they'll, they'll go out, they'll go out gardening. That's how yeah, that's how out. we'll die. Yeah, yeah, gutters, you know, gutters. gutters That'll get you. Um, branches. <laughs> <laughs> what else you got? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, but it's a testament to. I mean, they're in their eighties. They still live at home. Yeah, you know, yeah, they're great. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's what we should be doing. I mean, I have family members who are that live off the land still here in Victoria. Mm. And they're in their nineties. So good. And they literally never had a preservative. No, nah, at all. And yeah. I'm talking about people that live here in Victoria who still uh, actually make their own ricotta, their own cheese, <laughs> their own everything, like everything. And they're in their nineties. So much better when you say it like that. If I yeah. if I say ricotta, ricotta, yeah. ricotta, ricotta, ricotta. 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 <laughs> say say. Say how you would say spaghetti, like pasta. Spaghetti. Pasta. Spaghetti. <laughs> oh, dear. Spaghetti. What's his name? What's his name? Who's that? Um, Al Pacino. Al Pacino. Al Pacino. That's his, that's his key word of oh, how to get his voice. Oh, really? Spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> that's fabulous. Yeah. That's I actually I'd can't say. stand pasta. Yeah, right. No, not a big pasta. You know why? Because I ate it for so many years. Yeah, you see, I'm, I'm the same with walnuts. <laughs> <laughs> what a strange yeah. food. Yeah, it is. Because our neighbours used to have this massive bowl of walnuts. And at, did. at our house, there was never any pick and snacks. Because uh, if there's a bowl of fruit, five boys. It's gone. It's gone. It's uh, gone. Uh, Especially yeah. if it's out on the bench. Yeah. So we'd go next door and there'd be walnuts for days. The, the Flanderers. <laughs> so at the, um, right. But they also had... Anglican ins- neighbours. Yeah, they were, they were great. But instead of having chocolate, they would have carob. Yeah, oh, you know, I get like, it. Like, and then, I get it. You know, like um, good, good, healthy snacks like walnuts. <laughs> and and to if this you're day, hungry, if you have a walnut. Me a, if you give me a walled off, I'll be off it. 
a Waldorf salad. That's, yeah, right. Yeah, I, yeah I, won't, I won't like it. I won't. In, so it's interesting because when I go to friends' houses, like they'll go, do you, do you, because I'm Italian, mm. you'll eat spaghetti bolognese and I, <laughs> I haven't eaten it for, like I. You like pizza, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like. Mm. You're Australian, you love meat, pies, exactly. sausage exactly. rolls, it's, don't it's you? Exact- and I'll go, yeah, I do. Give yeah. me some. Yeah. No, <laughs> <I> can, <laughs> no, it's true. No, no, I quit. No, no. I remember when I announced <laughs> to my family, I was like, I'm never eating pasta ever again. Ah, ever. Quit I just the spaghetti. An- I just announced it because yeah. it was literally a like had to be two meal a day kind of thing like mm. my being it was part South. of it it was part of it it was definitely two meal a day it was like yeah. you could have it for a lunch or a dinner or whatever or two of the meals and so I'm like Unless it's gnocchi, I could probably do gnocchi yeah. because it's but a that's, bit more. Would you call that a? Would you call that a? Well, no. Is that a dessert in a pasta? I don't know. It? No, no, it's a potato in a pasta. Ah, oh, the it? gnocchi. It's is more because gnocchi is more about the sauce, I isn't it? it? I used to love going to my Italian friends' houses. It was just like food forever. Yeah, it is. We've it just wicked. it's just outrageous. Really. I do. I do remember the first time I was exposed to it. I wanted to be quite gracious in how much I ate to. No. Show that I was, show that I was part of it, and like you know, you oh, eat, 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 eat. So I ate this first like pasta and had just like three helpings of it, and then they bought out dinner. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, like, know, you, you tapped out, mate. <laughs> the thing I is did. that for Europeans, food is love. Mm. The way they show you they love you is by feeding you. And you're not eating my love like right now. No, you're no. Full of my love is so what you're saying. So <laughs> basically, if you don't eat their food you are actually rejecting it's an emotional thing yeah so it's really i don't know if that's the same yeah, no. the same in your oh, it is because we we come from a, a chef and um he, oh he's my god bo- your dad was a chef he still yeah, is he still is um and so we're talking like bulk so Did you, don't you get, bring well, he got, him here tonight? He, oh my god! He got to the the uh, back in the eighties. He used to work at the police academy up here. Just the, um, just oh, yeah, he was head, head, chef head chef there, and he got the chief commissioner's award for serving over a million meals. He was the, the only force. he was the only uh, civilian to receive yes. the uh, the award. It's only awarded to people that are, you know, in the force in the in the club. Oh really? So speak, yeah. That's yeah. amazing. So it's usually a blood ritual. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, it's definitely Masonic uh, over time, too. Yeah, it's a check of wars and all that kind of deal. <laughs> you know amazing. the deal. That's amazing. Um, but, but yeah, um, it's good times. Yeah, and then when you come back to, when, when, if you, if you come back to Melbourne, um, there's a spot for you because we do a regular family dinner. If you're, if you're, oh, oh my God. definitely, yeah. If you're, if you're down, if you're down Absolute. to clown, oh my goodness, circus gracious. is in town. Absolutely, that would be amazing. Mm. And if you're into just to force some homework, if you, uh, <laughs> if you love, do if, I need to look into the recipes? Recipes for sure, and, and yeah. it's on that tip because, like, if you know, if you're showing love. Uh, by force feeding your family, right? Hey. Get yourself onto YouTube and and watch uh, Beard Meets Food. So it's Beard, beard meets, food. meets as in the actual meat. Of oh, like Meats. As yeah. in meats. M-E-A-T. Correct. Yes, yeah. yeah. I'm glad you spelt it because I didn't want to get that <laughs> wrong. Um, food. And it's this uh, English guy or Irish guy, English, and he's got this huge beard. And he's a, he's a uh, professional s- speed meat bulk. eater. Bulk eater. Oh, is he? So he'll oh, go. He'll go around gosh. all the uh, American chains and wherever. Yeah. Any restaurant that has, um, you've got to eat twelve of these sliders. Yeah, that's right. In, okay. thir- in oh. under six minutes. And then okay. you can it's get like a yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and because he's got going. this massive beard, like it's like obviously disgusting. And okay. So he's always wiping off his beard, yeah. trying to make it more palatable for the viewer. Oh wow! Talking but about, I'm talking, talking about, about boats. Talking about sports, uh, eat meats. You know, he, he couldn't do the pancakes. Guy. Got him, but everything else. Pancakes. Yeah, big oh, stack of pancakes. Go the dough. Couldn't, couldn't go the but dough. But imagine, the, imagine. I mean, I can actually envisage that the pancakes would have been the size of. Yeah. They're very big. Yeah. See, I went, yeah. I went to America. You really must go. I didn't I find. I, 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 I didn't find many like larger than life meals like. The big pineapple challenge, or the um, you know, the yeah. giant, the giant uh, double dog, or double or dog challenge. I didn't see that. I didn't go for very long, but I went to New York and I did. Find New York, I fa- I f- the pizza slices to be humongous. That was ju- that, that was ridiculous, they but um, outrageous. You get it by the slice. It's yeah, because you. But I get found it. the food to be too good to to trash out to a. I thought it 
thought it was really cheap. No wonder everyone's the size of Gibraltar. <laughs> like, seriously, <laughs> like like a buck you can get, you know, like... A it mass- was cheap. It was a cheap. buck. A buck. You know, an American yeah, I know what a dollar. Buck is. I know American what a dollar is. Yeah, okay. God damn it. Dollar. God a dollar. damn it. Are you Aussies? <laughs> no. Yeah, we are. You're right. You're right. Yeah. That's what you're saying. Yeah. They do ask you really weird <laughs> questions. They though, do. If you ride kangaroos and if you live yeah. in huts and... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You I say yes. Yeah, I say yes. We all do. Do I want to, to drop bears? You know, that's the code. Yeah. Fucking code. Paul Hogan's fault, and we all know it. Is it? Yeah. Is that a Paul yeah. Hogan? Bit? Yeah. yeah, you know, shrimp on a Barbie. Crocodile. Good day, viewers. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> He's yeah. got a damn. Good day, punters. Yeah. I don't know. Is that a? No, that sounded more like um one of the footy guys. Yeah. Yeah. Just do that all day, smoking mm. weed. Uh, look, <clears throat> I got to tell you. Thank you so much for coming in. I think we're oh. almost oh. at the. Um, is it? We got there, Tim. Do I have a? Um, do I, are you are you doing the wrap up? Well, we're getting into the last uh, phase. I, I would imagine. Sure. Yeah. 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 Okay. Just, um, How long do you normally? We usually we usually bust out now. That's a, that's enough. a that's a hot 70, 75 minutes. That's plenty. do I do I give that's you the plenty. old uh, wrap up quote that I found? Well, it's just about time to wrap up our little interview. Thanks, Madonna. And good luck with whatever you're doing these days. I hope we can have you back again real soon. Mm. What yeah, yeah, fabulous. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. No, but seriously, thank you for coming in. Thank and, you um, so much. It's, it, been we've, uh, it's been hard getting guests, especially new guests. In. Yeah, yeah, that's um, It's a rarity. It is a rarity. Um, but uh, I think that was that was well worth the effort. And I, I hope it. you come back in. Yeah, it was great. I really enjoyed it. Thank you so much. You two Excellent. are... Fabulous. So much was fun. We shared a bedroom when we were growing up, so. <laughs> well, you, you kind of d- are twinning, aren't you? Like oh, you, we're, we're Irish we twins. We're Irish twins. Yeah, so. You do think you kind of bounce off yeah. each other and think the same. Yeah, he steals my stick, I steal his. I try to. <laughs> as much as possible. <laughs> yeah. There's yeah. a lot of sticking going on. There yeah, is yeah, too much sticking. Sticky this here. is why we wanted a beautiful <laughs> lady to come in, because it's always <laughs> sticky in here. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fabulous. Thank you so much. I've really no enjoyed myself and... Yeah, this, I can't I, wait I, to I hear it. I feel it like you're going to be back. I think so. I really do. You come do back you? to Melbourne? Yeah. I feel like it, yeah. If, Look, you, if you are in the hood, definitely pop into the I pod. tell you what's going to happen mm. is that I'm going to do a live on Facci Libro, which is Facebook in Italian. Okay. <laughs> Facci Libro. It's like so much more... Um, Exotic, isn't Fa- it? It's Facili, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to do about my experience here okay. and That's about what yeah. the hell went on while I've been here. Okay, it's but called it Jumping the Turnstile. Don't get it. Don't get it mixed up with any other podcast because we'd hate for. Uh, oh no, 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 no! Like, what do you mean? <laughs> oh, what the, the name of the podcast? Because we changed it a couple of times. You see, through the through the. Wow. Well, yeah. We've oh yeah. So you well, but I'll do. I'm. Um, I mean, hopefully, I'll be back. But there's been a whole shebang a bang of I think the universe has been trying to block me from getting back here. But I hope to. Oh, I can't get that. That's a whole other side. It's a whole. Love to hear about it another time though. Definitely. We'll talk about it. And that's uh, part two to the Madonna saga. Yeah, the the Madonna saga. Exactly. I'm going to change my name to that when I get back here. Madonna saga. (laughs) Madonna saga. (laughs) That's all right. That's oh yeah because like when you're when you're a recording artist, it pays to. Change who you are, just to like new reinvent identity. yourself. So you got your uh, what David Bowie, Ziggy, Ziggy Stardust. Yeah, you got, uh, nah, then he was others. the Colonel, and Prince then he was symbol. <laughs> um, <laughs> you, you could be, you could be Madonna Saga. <laughs> I'm gonna be when I get back. So yeah, no, I'll come back and it'll be fabulous. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Thank you very much, Thank and you, um, also with you. <laughs> and um, I've been just bought. Oh, um, I, I actually, I am just okay. Jeremy. Okay, Jeremy. I'm Timmy Taco. Madonna saga. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> it sticks, doesn't it? I like it. They hop, they duck, they climb, they go through two at a time. Yo, jump the turnstile, jump the turnstile, jump the the turnstile, leap over the turnstile, hop over the turnstile. I had to take these. It was like a ninja jumping the turnstile. And it's no small thing. Jump the turnstile. I definitely jump the turnstile. Jumping the turnstile. I definitely would do it once, twice. I would do it over again. Whenever I believe I have to do it, I do it. I get away because and there was no one there, so I figured it'd be just easier to jump the turnstile. Well, I've jumped some fairs in my day. I definitely jumped the turnstile a few times. Jumping turnstile instead of just paying a two dollars and twenty-five cents. That little technique, I pull the turnstile back like that. Boom, boom. My whole body's not moving. My legs. 
Jump the turnstile. Jump the turnstile. The turnstile. We are the anti-bacterial wipes. This don't even look sanitary.